now the important part, which is the word. We are so grateful, grateful for our present day leader and apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. See him yet. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Please, you may be seated. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we thank the one true living God for his divine wisdom, <clears throat> his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the true sender and true teacher of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for setting up one church, one teaching, one standard, one law, one faith, one baptism. The way of holiness is God's way. And the Lord did a perfect job in setting up his church. There's no need for no one to try to tell God how his church should be. The word teaches us how the church should be and who started this church. Philosophy, theology will ruin the church. And it have ruined churches all around the world. The truth of God is built on scripture. I don't want to hear nothing but scripture. I don't believe nothing but scripture. I won't tolerate nothing but scripture. I won't fight with nothing but scripture. I won't preach nothing but scripture. You can't be saved by nothing but scripture. Your church cannot be a true church unless it's according yeah. to scripture. That's all we believe. The Rocky Mount and Florence, we thank God for both of you, both locations. We thank God for the work of the Lord. <clears throat> We're glad for all of our guests that are here. We are still rejoicing from being in Columbia last week, dedication service. We baptized 59 last week in the name of Jesus Christ. One came out the water speaking in tongue and the Spirit of God give utterance. So, <clears throat> we're glad to be here with you for these two days and afterwards, God willing, we'll get prepared to fly to California. I'll be in Sacramento. From Sacramento, I'll be in San Francisco. From San Francisco, I'll be in Los Angeles. Then I'll come back to Philadelphia and hang and bang down there. Be down there for a few days and then get ready to go to Europe. For our European conference, we'll be in London. Fighting the devil in London, then from there we go to the Netherlands. In Amsterdam, we'll be there working there. From there, we'll come back to America and be here for a few days, then get ready to go to Dallas, Texas. Then from Dallas, Texas, we'll get ready for the International Holy Convocation in Philadelphia. So we're busy. busy. We're on the road practically every single week building the work of God. Some folks say, when are you going to get a vacation? You pray for me. I love the souls of people. Amen. And you're dying. The souls of men and women is the reason for my travel. I'm not traveling to sightsee. 
I'm not traveling to look at architect and buildings. No. I'm traveling because I'm a fisherman. That's right. I catch fish. That's right. That's right. Small fish, big fish, little fish, fish of all colors and of all nationalities. That's right. We're being Africa, fishing. Amen. We're being Great Britain, fishing. We're making preparations now. We're being Australia, fishing. That's right. Making preparations now. We're being New Zealand, fishing. Amen. We're being Puerto Rico, fishing. Amen. We're being Spain and in Germany and Belgium, fishing. Oh, yeah. hmm? That's right. So we're not sitting back like many of these bishops twiddling their thumbs, drinking a non-version daiquiri. Amen. Getting fat off the people's money. And don't preach nothing to save your soul from hell. That's right. Purpose of church is to save you from hell. Are we clear with this? You that are watching around the world, maybe you don't know the purpose of church, but it's to save your soul from hell. Church is not designed by God for wife shopping, boyfriend shopping, just for socializing. The church is equal to the ark that Noah built. And Noah didn't build an ark to go on a cruise. Am I right, I said? Noah did not build an ark to go sightseeing and stop at different ports to give you a break to go party. Noah built an ark to escape the wrath and the judgment of God that came in the form of a flood. Now, what are you doing to escape the wrath and the judgment of God that's coming in the form of fire. What are you doing? Theology, philosophy, have corrupt church. Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church and therefore he left on record how the church is built, the tools that's used to build it, what's in the church, what's not in the church, and none of the modern Christian community <laughs> can try to modernize the old pathway That's right. and make it the church. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? If Jesus said upon this rock, I'd build my church, then the church is named after the one that built it. That's right. That's showing recognition and giving him the credit. That's why we call it the church of our Lord Jesus Christ or the church from the Lord Jesus Christ or the church by the Lord Jesus Christ. We're giving him the credit. I'm not the builder. I'm just one of the members in the sun. Go ahead. The sun Go ahead. is the church. That's right. That's right. I got in the Old Testament. Don't you hear? Don't you hear Moses? God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, and he was talking about the Old Testament church. That's right. He said, Let my son go. Son go. That he may serve me. That's right. Now are we the sons of God. That's right. The church is called the son. The church bear the title son because son is a servant 
and are subject to its father. That's right. That's why the church bear the title son. Because we are subject to our father and we ought to serve him. The church is called bride or wife because the church produces children for the father. Are you getting me? Go ahead. The church is called wife because it produced babies. That's right. The church is called son because we are servants of the most high. That's right. I want to talk about the danger of religious philosophy. Philosophy. Amen. In the book of Colossians chapter 2. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Colossians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 7. All of us that are here and the millions that are watching came out of or presently in some type of religious organization. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where your preacher may have on his sign on the church, Bishop Chicken Wing. <laughs> Ph.D., D.D., L.L.D. In other words, he letting you know he went to Bible college and studied theology. That's right. Philosophy. That's right. Now, studying philosophy calls him to approach the scriptures from a philosophical perspective. That's right and a theological perspective. Theologian is theory, yeah. not based upon biblical facts. So his approach to trying to explain what is the church will be from a philosophical perspective. That's right. When he talked to you about God, when he's done, he will never come out with one. He will always come out with more than one, trying to get you to understand it from a philosophical perspective or something that got to do with theory or science. That's right. The Bible says no man can say Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. Now, history is good only when it does not contradict God. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> if we utilize history to talk about biblical principle, history is only good when it does not contradict scripture. Let me give you an example. Religious history says, religious history, says that Timothy was the first bishop in the church. Wow. That's what religious history teach in theology, seminary school, that Timothy was the first bishop in the church. My Lord. Strike one. Strike one. Because the Bible specifically tells us what Timothy was. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and at verse 5. Follow me in your Bible. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and Follow at verse 5. Follow me in your Bible. That's right. Listen now, I want to burn you up good. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 5. What is it, William? But watch thou in all things. Paul, the apostle. Amen. Teaching Timothy. Watch. Watch. Watch thou in all things. In everything. Endure affliction. Endure afflictions. Do the work. Do the work of, of a bishop. Of an evangelist. Amen. He was what? An evangelist. Theology says that he was a bishop. Right. But the book says. Do the work of an evangelist. He was an evangelist. That's right. The danger in theology. Theology teaches there's the trinity. Yes. Yeah. Three separate distinct personalities to make up one. That's right. Now, you know, if anyone has multiple personalities, you suffer from schizophrenia. Amen. Imagine having a schizophrenic God. Mm. And because theology is not integrated with revelation, they cannot understand that God is Father, so they said that God is Son. 
Yes. No, God never was nobody's son. That's right. That's right. The body that God made was the son, and God was in that son and used the body as the mediator to connect you That's to right. him. That's right. That's right. He's doing the same thing now. That's right. The son, the body, is the church. The church. That's why the book of Revelation says the spirit I and the bride the says come. God calls the world by using the church to bring the world to him. That's right. The church stands between the sinner and God. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at this good. Give me the book of Colossians. Now in the book of Colossians chapter 2, we're starting at verse 7. Is the word of God being preached in your church, viewers, and you that are here, Amen. or is philosophy or theology? Amen. It's not hard to tell. Just walk up to the podium while your preacher is preaching. He may have cue cards or a script yeah. or an iPad That's right. to get all his sermon out of that. That's right. What you got, Pastor Jennings? The thing you got in your hand or on your lap. Amen. That's why it gives you so much pain. Amen. Amen. I've never been to seminary school in my life. Never took a Bible course since I've been black, and I've been black 56 years. Amen. Don't have no biblical degree at all. But I take on anybody of any time, of any degree in the world, who challenge what God say from the word. That's right. That's right. Many preachers get up with a robe and got bars on their arm. Have you seen that in churches? Those bars are supposed to signify his level of education. Amen. So when he has three bars on each arm, he's saying he's a doctor of scriptural truth. Lord. This is why when these seminary school boys Amen. who are nothing but Bible dropouts. Amen. Let me say it again. Go ahead. A seminary school minister is a Bible dropout. Amen. Amen. He's telling you that God's word is not good enough for him. Yeah. So what do you learn in seminary school? That's right. The different sayings of some man, some scholar, some dean. And this is why for years, for years, seminary school trash been taught in church and you have jumped, you have shout, old mothers have put sheets over you like you dead on arrival. That's right. You have knocked pews over. Amen. You have tore up people's stockings. Yeah. You have injured innocent people sitting next to you that's right you feel as though a preacher is someone who articulate words so large yeah. and you say oh man he's deep he's deep so he come with all these big words and change his voice yeah. supercalifragilistic <laughs> espialidocious amen the word of God is plain amen so the Apostle Paul says, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. speech. Amen. Philosophy, Philosophy and the usage thereof have damned thousands. That's right. Follow me in your Bible and we're going to repeat some of the sayings from seminary school that have trickled in church mm -hmm. that have never, never, never. Never Amen. been in your Bible. That's right. Is that all right? Amen. Let's go to school tonight. Follow me. In the book of Colossians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 7. All right. Rooted and built up in him. Rooted and built up in him, not them. Him. We only built up in one. That's right. 
Listen. And established in the faith. You have to be established in the faith. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. Faith is not only trusting in God, but faith is also believing the things that God believes. That's right. See, faith is taught in a watered down way. If people always narrow it down to trusting in God for something. Yes, that's one form of faith. But when you talk about God's faith, you're actually talking about the things that God believes. That's right. Now, if you are the children of God, your belief is not allowed to contradict nothing that God believes. Amen. So before you declare loyalty to a belief, first find out, does God believe it? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I don't know whether God believe it or not until I have knowledge of scripture. That's right. Because God's belief, I want you to hear me good, Amen. does not go outside of scripture. No. Jesus said, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them mm -hmm. you think you have eternal life. That's right. Jesus said, they do error. Why Jesus not knowing the scripture? Scriptures. Nor the power of God. That's right. The apostle Paul says, whatsoever things were written aforetime is written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture, scripture might have hope. So your hope, your trust, your faith should not be in nothing else. Amen. But the scripture. That's right. The scripture is what builds the church. That's right. The scripture is for the church. For the, church. the scripture teaches the church. Amen. The scripture disciplines the church. Amen. The scripture guides the church. Right. The scripture will condemn the church. That's right. And the scripture come back and justify the church. That's right. Amen. Now, Amen. what is the word? The word. I want to take my time and soak you a little. St. John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Before you read that, because I know you're ready. Amen. What is the word, the word. South Carolina? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is the word? Anybody know what the word is? What is the, word? Hmm. the word is what? Oh. Is the word the scriptures? Is the scriptures all the word? Hmm. Follow me in the book of John, St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. I want to take you for a ride. Amen. I want to take you to school, God knows. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. Follow me. In the beginning. In the beginning. Was the word. It never said the word had a beginning. No. Now. In the beginning was the word. word. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Word is that which is spoken. That's right. So the beginning came into being by God's spoken word. Right. Let there be light. And there was light. Mm -hmm. He separated light from darkness. Let it be a firmament in the midst of the deep. Yeah. God bears the title word because that which is unseen is brought to sight. By the power of God's spoken word. That's right. In the beginning was the, the, word, word. the word. In the beginning was God. God gave creation a beginning through the power of his speech. That's right. That's right. Within God's speech, there is no flat, no flaws, no errors, no mistakes, yeah. no blunders. Right. God don't have to learn. That's right. God don't have to overcome. That's right. And God don't have to study. That's right. Amen. Well, what do God know, Pastor Jennings? Everything. 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 Pastor Jennings, can God lie? It's impossible. Impossible. Can God fail? Never. Never. Do God sleep? No. No. That's right. What do God lack? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. How good is he? Too good that you don't have words to express it. Amen. So good. He's infallible. He's flawless. flawless. 
higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Yeah. He hangs the earth on nothing. He walk among the cursings of heaven. Right. He called the clouds, his chariots, and said, "You ride upon the wings of the wind." That's right. Isaiah said, Hallelujah. "He sit upon the circle of the earth, yes. whose inhabitations are as the grasshoppers." That's right. Solomon says, "Who have bound the wind in his fist and placed the waters in his garment? What?" Is his, name, is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell he established all the ends of the earth that's right hallelujah eternity hallelujah. is everlasting correct correct but even that's too short to contain god that's right that's right mm. are you listening amen in until, the the, until the book says who by searching can find out God. Find out God. Let's see how valuable the word is mm -hmm. in church. Amen. Listen. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Holy. Amen. When you go to study theology in seminary school right there, that scripture make you dumb. <laughs> That's right. Because you use logic. Right. Oh, with. With. Now, if we look at the grammar of with, yeah. with means there must be someone uh, besides him. That's right. That's a philosophical approach. That's right. That's a theological approach. Amen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with. With, with God. And when you don't know scripture, you think that means it was another God with the one. With the one. That's right. And if there was another God with the one, that would mean God need help. Right. And if God need help, that will make God a liar That's to right. say he's the almighty. Amen. Amen. So it is impossible, impossible for it to be another God with him. With him. Give me Deuteronomy. Chapter 32 and verse 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39. We're going to balance that out with John 1 and 1. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. Says what? See now that I. God talking. See now that I. God talking. Talking. See now that I. See now that we. I. Us. I. Them. I. They. I. How many is I, church? Talk back to me. Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. Hallelujah. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am He. Am God. And. And. There is no God with me. There is what? There is no God with me. But what did John 1 and 1 says? And the word was with God. But what did Deuteronomy say? And there is no God with me. What did John 1 and 1 say? And the word was with God. What did Deuteronomy say? And there is no God with me. What did John say? And the word was with God. Now, a seminary school boy, this is his problem. Right. He is so consistent with the wisdom of men right. and the wisdom of men don't have the inspiration of God to make the Bible harmonize. That's right. And because he lacked divine revelation, right. it hinders him to participate in scripture and making the Bible harmonize. That's right. But when you got divine revelation and taught Go ahead. by the master. Go ahead. Go ahead. When yeah. God is your teacher. Hallelujah. You don't make the Old Testament contradict the New Testament. That's right. So when the Bible said there is no God with, with him. With me. And yet the Bible said the word is with him. Yeah. That don't mean there was another God. No. That means he's a God of his word. That's it. That means when God says something, it just got to happen. That's right. Wonderful. The word was with God. Was with with God. God mean he's a God of his word. That's All right, right, Pastor Jennings. All right, Pastor Jennings. Mm -hmm. Then just tell us who is the word. Who is the word? John 1 and 1 says, and the word. And the word. Was God. Amen. Who is the word? The word was God. Who is the word? The word was God. So if the word was God and the Bible said the word was with him, then God is with himself. That's right. By himself. That's right. Made everything for himself. Amen. And speaks for himself. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, preachers, mm. you hard head, Bible toe and cross wearing, manicured, nailed devils. Amen. 
Go ahead, brother. You feel as though that philosophy and theology is more important than scripture. Right. The moment you put the wisdom of men above scripture, you have elevated the wisdom of men above the word. And when you do that, you say in man knowledge is more better than God. That's right. Because God declared himself to be the word. The word. Now, That's right. before there was the written word. Yeah. There was the word. The word. That's right. The written word is just the testimony of God. That's right. That he left on record through the prophets and through the apostles. Amen. So how did church become so full of trash? Yeah. If we stick by the scriptures. scriptures. If we stick by the scriptures. Yeah. This junk won't be preached in church. That's right. This junk won't be in the church yeah. if we stick to scripture. Scripture. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what happened. Colossians. Back in Colossians chapter 2, still in verse 7. Solomon. Rooted and built up in him. Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. Established in the belief. As ye have been taught. As ye have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yes. Beware. Oh. Amen. The very first word mean warning. Beware. Warning. That's right. When I came up in the hood, you know, sometimes the guys would be like, look, man, you got to beware of that guy. That guy's sharp. Mm -hmm. That guy good with his hands. Amen. And a lot of times the one that's good with his hands, he don't sell wolf tickets. Mm -hmm. He just handle his business. And then you got one that's always selling wolf tickets. He jump in the guy's face who's good with his hands and then learn the hard way. <laughs> because now his tickets, once he get hit, once he get hit, his tickets fall to the ground. That's right. Theologian is nothing but good sounding wolf tickets. That's all. And when it comes to face the Bible, mm. that stuff got to fall to the ground. Amen. Listen. Beware. Look out. Let's look out. Beware. Alert. Alert. Warning. Be beware. Now, you that are watching and you that are here. Amen. Is God warning us about your pastor? Yeah. Is God warning us about your bishop? Lord. Is God warning us about your deacon? Amen. Is God warning us about the organization you're in? That's right. You judge. That's right. Beware lest. Lest any man spoil you. Hold it right there. Spoil. When a thing is spoiled, you are ruined. You are rotten. <laughs> That's right. Because when a child is spoiled, that means it's used to having its way. Yeah. And when that child go among a disciplined atmosphere, mm -hmm. then that child cannot adapt to discipline, so it pouts. That's right. And whines. Wines. And then it don't want to subject itself. So when it don't want to subject itself, mm -hmm. you got to add some pain. <laughs> Amen. You know, you modern parents, don't beat the child, you know, just, just give it time out. time out. Give it time out to get the pain off after you beat them. <laughs> That's right. Because God said, beat the child. That's right. And what he said? Withhold that correction. Listen at the Bible. In Proverbs chapter 23, and we're at verse 13. Withhold not correction. From the child. From the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod. If you beat him with the rod. He shall not die. You won't kill him. Thou shalt beat him with the rod. Thou shalt beat him with the rod. That don't mean beat him across his head and all that stuff. That's right. Know how to beat him. That's and right. know when to stop. Yeah. God ain't preached time out. God preached beat him. Be, that's right. Huh? Beat that's him with why the some of you that are watching can't stand me because we beat you. That's right. That's why your pastor is crying. He's, he's crying with his robe still on. Beat, beat him. Beat him. That's right. We done beat that second wife beat off him. of him. him. We done beat the bracelets off his arm. We done beat the ankle chains off. Yeah. We done beat his toupee off his head. That's right. We done beat the earring out of his ear. We done beat the homosexuality out of him. Amen. Am beat I him. right? Beat him with the rod. What is that? Beat him with the rod. Beat him. Beat him. I'm going to obey that. That's and right. We're going to beat creation. Amen. All right, let's go back to Colossians. Listen at this. Back in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Solomon. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil lest any you. Man 
spoil you through philosophy. He's spoiling you by using what? Philosophy. He's spoiling you by using what? Philosophy. And what is philosophy? And vain deceit. Vain deceit. What he's saying and teaching sound good, yeah. but it's vain, meaning vain. it's unprofitable right. to your salvation. Yeah. It's unprofitable for your spiritual development. Amen. And vain deceit have came in church and Bible have been pushed aside. That's right. Vain deceit now is called Bible. Yeah. And you jumping in, hollering off of this oh, prosperity God. trash. Amen. Thinking that God don't want you to be poor. <laughs> God ain't never said that. No. God said the poor you have with you always. That's right. You don't come to church to learn how to get rich. Yeah. You come to church to learn how to get right. Amen. That's what church is for. Right. You want to learn how to get rich? Go to college. Go to business school. You want to escape hell? That's what the house of God is designed for. Amen. Listen. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. By the usage of philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain deception. After the tradition of men. Wait a minute. Amen. What is philosophy after? After the tradition of men. The tradition of men said there's five minor prophets and five major. Right. The tradition of men says there are no apostles now. That's right. The tradition of men says flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. The tradition of men said there's two gods or three gods. Right. The tradition of men said bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal savior. Right. The tradition of men said go to an upright bowl and let a preacher sprinkle you. Yeah. The tradition of men says you don't have to go down in water. Right. The tradition of men says you can receive the Holy Ghost but not speak in tongues. That's right. The tradition of men says you got women pastors, women elders, women evangelists. Yeah. The tradition of men said a woman don't have to cover her head. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man. Look out. I said. Lest any man spoil you. The tradition of men said God ain't looking at your outward. That's right. God just looking at your heart. That's right. The tradition of men said you got your religion. I got my religion. We all one down inside. Beware. Amen. Beware. The tradition of men said there's nothing wrong with having a wedding where the bride that's in the church is half naked. That's right. The tradition of men said there's nothing wrong with two men getting married. Yeah. Two women getting married. Oh, yeah. The tradition of men said it doesn't matter if you're saved. In a wedding, you can dance at your reception. That's right. That's the tradition of men. That's right. Beware. The tradition of men let Democrats and Republicans and liberals come in the church and run for office to get a vote so you can vote for that liar. Go ahead. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Tradition of men says nothing wrong with lipstick and earrings and finger rings and fake hair. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's men tradition. That's right. Tradition of men say nothing wrong with twerking in the church. Yeah, beware. Tradition of men say there's nothing wrong with having praise dancers on the stage of the church. Go ahead. Beware. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. When you get this tradition in you, yeah. what condition are you in? Spoil you. Spoil. Spoil. When you win that type of religion or church, Amen. you spoil. Spoil. And when Papa Jennings come, <laughs> Papa Jennings come <laughs> right. with the word of God. That's right. Ready to lay it to you. That's right. That's Man, right. you mad, <laughs> upset. Yeah. And then they say, Where's his love? Yeah. Williams is reading from the book of love. That's right. That's right. This is the book of love. Amen. When you grown, weak, spineless men Go ahead, man. get upset with us because we are preaching against your dirt. Amen. When you whore like women Go ahead. who want to bounce all around the world and then we come with the Bible and Go tell you that God commands for you to be a chaste virgin. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. 
Spoil, spoil. You want your second wives and you want your second husband and you upset with me. So you said, Jenin said it. Ain't said nothing. That's right. The word Good. is what said it. That's right. Don't get mad at me. Amen. You write me letters cussing me out. You want to cuss somebody out? Cuss God out. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go I ahead. say like Paul. Go ahead. I am what I am. What I am. But God is I am. That's right. That I am. That's it. Hallelujah. You've been spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. by the Baptists. Yeah. You've been spoiled yeah. by the apostolics. That's right. You've been spoiled That's right. by the Pentecostals. Yeah. You've been spoiled mm -hmm. by the non-denominational. Yeah. That's why every chance you get, you turn it on some false prophet who believe in prosperity because you broke. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you want to watch some limousine driving liar who's nothing but a poor pit pimp. Go ahead. Talk to me. Preach it. Preach it. What do you think the church is for? Go ahead. Go ahead. The church Hallelujah. is for to prepare you to meet God. That's right. You preachers have went to sleep on the job. You are robbing the people. That's right. And if the Lord come, your movement, your organization will go to hell. That's right. That's because right. Because the preachers have went to sleep on the job. His watchmen are blind. I don't care you call yourself apostolic. Go ahead. You're not following. The doctrine of the apostles. That's right. That's right. Look at the stage the preachers are in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55. And Isaiah 56 and 10. Or rather Isaiah chapter 56 and at verse 10. Listen. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the preacher. Amen. The only time he sees when offering time take place. That's right. That's right. Only time he get anointed when it's offering time. That's right. The only time he feel the presence of the Lord Amen. is when offering time. Amen. Blind. And you religious television watching suckers mm. who got this prosperity junk in your church. Yeah. You got it here in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I don't, the storefront church has got it, the little church has got it. In your preacher, you go there and look at that bearded, Jerry Curl head liar. Some of them is your daddy. That's right. And some of them is your husband. Yeah. And some of them is your uncle. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who they are. Amen. If you are a hustler, you are a hustler. That's right. That's right. Little congregations being hustled. Yes, Telling them touch it and claim it. Yeah. It's not an apostle in the Bible. Preach that trash. No. no. Trace your hands on paper and send it to a televised liar. That's right. And did he tell you he gonna touch and agree so he take your cut out hand? Yeah. You fool, that man done put you back in kindergarten. <laughs> hey, you back in kindergarten doing arts and crafts. That's right. Tracing your hand. That's right. Which shows you are so desperate, you are willing to do anything to get rich, but you're not willing to get right. Amen. Go ahead. So you go to these hustles, hustle, hustle. TV snakes, yeah. Creflo O'Penny, yeah. Joel Alstein, yeah. Fred Price, yeah. and some of your pastors right here in South Carolina have become so impressed by the mega churches and the Rolls Royce drivers and the Bentley drivers, they brought that philosophy right in your congregation. That's right. 
And now you sit in church That's right. missing out on the kingdom of God Amen. because the devil got you focused on dollars. Yeah. We are here to get you focused on God. Amen. God. God. Yeah. God. Go ahead. God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing else. Nothing else. Wonderful. We don't want to hear nothing else. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Philosophy. Philosophy. This get rich trash yeah. have came in church and even the apostolics have fell in it like pigs love slop. That's right. That's right. You lazy bums that told posers as overseers. Your congregation made you rich. Yeah. You stop paying these liars' bills. That's right. You stop buying them cars. That's right. You stop sending their children to school. Stop buying them houses. Let these bitches get off their lazy self and get a job and go to work. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. His watchmen are blind. You see why they don't like me and I don't care if you don't. Amen. Don't care. The Bible show you the condition of leadership. His watchmen are blind. 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 How much of them? They are all ignorant. They got a DD. Ignorant. PhD. Ignorant. LLD. Ignorant. Went to the greatest Bible institutes in the world. Ignorant. Know how to speak 13 different languages. Ignorant. He can lie in 20 languages. Ignorant. He tell you there's a trinity in 40 languages. They are all ignorant. Ignorant. Are you listening? Amen. Because of this <clears throat> failure, mm -hmm. the people now, you see the scriptures is like the umbilical cord between a mother and his baby. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. When the mother eats, the baby rely on what's coming through that umbilical cord. Yeah. Now, if the scriptures are like an umbilical cord, mm -hmm. you better be careful for your bishop cut it. Mm. That's right. Because only this That's right. keep you linked to God. Amen. That's right. When the umbilical cord is cut, you're going to have to fend for yourself. Yes, you will. The preachers went to sleep. That's right. They don't care about your soul no more. No. They just care about how much money you can raise. That's it. The scriptures is the umbilical cord. This is the only tool that keep us attached to God. That's right. So why do you think the churches are going to hell? Amen. Because the preachers have threw this out the church. Yeah. That's right. The preachers are telling you, That's we don't right. need the Bible no more. We don't, don't need it. They have gotten so self-righteous, they don't even call the church no more. They call it a center. That's right. Love center. Love center. Mm. So many old preachers write me. I stopped preaching that old stuff. Mm. Young man before you was born. My Lord. Well, I'm going to die preaching it. That's right. That's right. When the umbilical cord of scripture mm -hmm. have been severed from your congregation, yeah. the world comes in the church That's right. and takes over the church. That's right. And everything that bishop and the people stood against, mm -hmm. now they will promote. Amen. Because you are no more connected to the word. That's right. You see, when you connect to the word, you can download all the truth. That's right. There's a spiritual virus yeah. in your church. Oh, yeah. You can't download the truth now. Mm -mm. Eh? Amen. So now you have truth substitute. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Go ahead. Jesus taught us mm -hmm. salt is good. Salt is good. And if the salt loses Savior, where is 
shall it be seasoned. If the salt loses savior, means loses power or loses strength, then that salt is good for nothing. Good for nothing. Now, the Bible also teaches us mm -hmm. that ye, the people, are salt the salt of the earth. Of the earth. Of the earth. So if you lose your power or lose your savior, you have ceased to be connected to the word of God that gives you power. But if the salt have lost his savor. So if the salt, listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 5 and at verse 13. Listen. Ye are the salt of the earth. Church. Ye are. The church, I said. Are the salt of the earth. Ye are the salt of the earth. But. But. If the salt have lost his savor. If the salt loses power. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Where do we get our power from? Scripture. We get our power from the scriptures. That's right. Where do we get our authority from? Scripture. Yeah. So the salt, the church, have lost scripture right. and got so deep into philosophy and theology right. until now they accept that before they accept scripture. That's right. So when they hear me preach against Paul died at Nero's chopping block and Peter crucified, head down and feet up. Mm -hmm. Five minor prophets and five major. Yeah. The Bible said it was seven deacons. The Bible ain't said how many deacons it was. No. You old liar. <laughs> That's right. Philosophy. Philosophy. Theology. Mm -hmm. When they hear me preach against, God ain't never said his number was seven. Right. Don't you hear a preacher say that? Amen. Seven is God's number. Show me that scripture. Show me that. You show me that scripture, and I'll eat this pulpit. Amen. Seven is God's number. No, seven is the gambler's number. That's right. You ain't never hear God saying, come on, seven. No. Come on, seven. No. You hear the gambler, come on, come on, seven, come on. Ha. That's right. Now do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. Philosophy, Philosophy. theology, mm -hmm. things that have never been in the Bible, you jump to, you shout to, you told the preacher, amen. Why in the world would you say amen to something that's not in that book? That's right. That's right. That's the problem with a lot of you. Shout too much. Yeah. Sit down and learn something. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. The book says, in all thine getting, get a understanding. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Ye are the salt of the earth. Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savior. If the salt, if you lose, lose your savior, you lose your power. Wherewith shall it be salted? Okay. If you lose your power, if you lose the word, mm -hmm. wherewith shall... It be it salted. Be salted. Where else you gonna get your salt from? That's right. Where you gonna get your salt from? Only the truth sees in you. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see, I'm not a preacher that use sugar. No. Seasoned with salt. What? In the book of Colossians chapter 4. Colossians chapter 4. And at verse 6. Colossians 4 and 6 says. Let your speech. Let your speech. Be always with grace. Be always with grace. Seasoned. Seasoned. With salt. I'm a salty preacher. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm not a sugar preacher. That's right. Weak men love sugar preachers. Amen. Men who ain't got no spine. Yeah. Love sugar preachers. That's right. Scant men. Love sugar preachers. That's right. Men that are cowards yeah. love sugar preachers. Amen. Men that are strong yeah. love salt, salt preachers. That's right. Seasoned with salt. You mad at me, Mr. Man, because you are sugar lover. That's right. That's right. Only salt loving men Amen. can take this preaching. Yeah. Only salt. Loving men. That's right. Can take this hard preacher. That's right. You ain't never been a man, no way, Amen. until you obey God. Amen. Amen. You think you're a man because you know how to hold your hands? That don't make you a man. No. You think you're a man because you spilled sperm and got a bunch of babies? Preach it. And you too much of a lazy bum to take care of them? Go ahead. Talk to me. Hallelujah. That don't make you a man. Oh, no. God said, let us yes. make man. That's right. 
in my image. Wait a minute. When you're made in God's image, that's just not shape, form, fashion. But you also made in the character of God. That's right. That's why when God made man, he made man upright. upright. And if God is not feminine, what is your excuse, man? Amen. Amen. God is not feminine. No. We were made in his image. That's right. Then why are you? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. God is not a bigot. Why are you? Amen. God don't smoke. Why do you? That's right. God ain't drunk. That's right. Why are you? Amen. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. You ain't never been a man no. since you've been black, white, brown, yellow, or red right. until you submit to the great God of the universe. That's right. Obey him. Give your life to him. Yeah. Repent of all your wickedness. That's right. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And he promised to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Promised. Then you can declare yourself, I'm being made a man of God. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, you're nothing but a sinner yeah. who's wasting your years living like a fool, Amen. looking like a fool, acting like a fool, and you call it having fun. That's right. Bible says, she that live in pleasure, yeah. you dead while you live. While you live. Listen. Back in Colossians 2 and verse 8. The book says. Beware. Look out now. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After men's tradition. After the rudiments of the after world. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. You see, philosophy don't have nothing to do with Christ. No. They call it a Bible school or a Bible college. In all reality, hmm. the Bible school is supposed to be the church. That's right. That's right. School means session. Yeah. So if we teach Bible in church, mm -hmm. we are in school. That's right. It's supposed to be the greatest institution of learning. That's right. But today we are learning everything else, everything else. and anything else yeah. but scripture. Amen. And what have happened, preachers are relying on the educational background. That's right. Now look at it. That's right. They tell about they got to give you uh, classes for marriage. Mm. Baptismal classes. That's true. Uh, uh, classes for the Holy Ghost. What That's do you mean right. Classes. <laughs> That's right. All you got to do is preach the word. That's it. That's right. Preach the word. What is it in this life yeah. that the word didn't cover? That's right. That's right. You want to know how to treat your wife? The preacher's supposed to teach it. Yeah. You want to know how many wives to have? The preacher's supposed to preach it. That's right. You want to know how to be baptized? The preacher's supposed to teach it. That's right. You want to know what's the evidence of the Holy Ghost? The preacher's supposed to teach it. You want to know the name of God? The preacher's supposed to teach it. You want to know how many gods it is? The preacher's supposed to preach it. You want to know who is God? The preacher's supposed to preach it. We're supposed to get all of our divine, eternal, everlasting information from God's word. For the priest's lips. Listen. Now in the book of Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 7. The priest for the, is the preacher, mm -hmm. the servant of the most high. That's right. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should. Notice. The priest's lips. Lips. The priest's lips. mouth mm -hmm. should do what? Should keep knowledge. The knowledge of God should be in the mouth of the preacher. That's right. And what should the people do that want it? And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law at his mouth. Why? For he is she, the, he, she, he, she, he, she, he, she, he, he. What is he? Is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. The preacher is the messenger of God. That's right. So then, That's ask right. yourself. Who is your messenger? Mm. Is he from God? Amen. Or is he from school? That's right. That's right. That's right. Your messenger. Your messenger. Well, people come to me bragging, Pastor Jennings. My pastor's name is Dr. Hulaba Balaba. <laughs> <laughs> your do doctor. Doctor, doctor. 
Let's see what the God called his ministers mm -hmm. in Ephesians 4, 11. In Ephesians right. chapter 4 and that verse 11. You ever meet these fellows who so caught up in this theology that when they greet you, oh, uh, uh, praise the Lord, Doc, 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 what's, what, what's up, Doc, 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 what's up, Doc, 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 you bunch of bugged bunny infidels. Go ahead, brother. Why would you call a man doctor Doc. who cannot perform surgery That's in right. cutting the book? Amen. Amen. So they're so caught up in theology. Doctor this, Doc. doctor the other. And they make a congregation feel so proud. We got Dr. Wesley here. I wouldn't care if you had Daffy Duck there. <laughs> Amen. Let's see what do the scriptures call mm -hmm. God's servants. In the book of God's Ephesians. God's ministers. Mm -hmm. Follow me. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. And he gave some. Wait a minute. Amen. Talking about God now. God. And Jesus said, if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sins. That's right. He. And he God gave some. Gave some. Apostles. That's the first office in the church. That's right. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God made. He's an ambassador. Mm. An ambassador have authority from authority to represent authority. Amen. He's a leader because God sent him to lead the people. That's right. He's a teacher because God sent him to teach, to teach the word everywhere. everywhere. He's also a guide because when you don't know the scripture, you need a preacher to guide you through the scriptures right. and teach you how to harmonize the Bible That's so it. you can be led the right way. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? And he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Prophets. Mm -hmm. Prophet is one that's a messenger of God. They're foretelling event that's going to come. That's right. Uh -huh. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. And some pastors. Some pastors. And teachers. Teachers. For. For what? The perfecting of the saints. He didn't make doctors? No. No. Apostles. Doc, prophets. Doc, Dr. Cunningham. Mm -hmm. Dr. Reverend Yukabu. <laughs> Amen. Some of y'all got reverend for your preacher. He's, he's a devil. He's a devil. He's well, aren't a devil. you reverend, Genesis? No. No. It ain't no man can be called reverend. No, no, no. Only one that's called reverend is God. For that's the Bible right. says, holy and reverend is his, his name. His name. You call a man reverend, you're calling him God. That's right. That goes for if I got any undercover reverends here. Undercover reverends. You may as well take your title and flush it down the toilet. <laughs> Amen. And he gave some apostles. You either an apostle. And some prophets. Prophet. And some evangelists. Evangelists. And some pastors. Pastor. And teachers. Teacher. For the perfecting of the saints. Why is this in the church? For the perfecting of the saints. Why is this in the church? For the perfecting of the saints. And whatever reason did he put in the church? For the work of the ministry. What? For the edifying of the body of Christ. That's why this is in the church. That's right. That's why this is in the church. That's right. Anything else? Amen. We don't have confidence in that stuff. No. Because of the excessive use of theology and philosophy, mm -hmm. preachers now, doctor, doctor, doctor this, doctor that, doctor the other, yeah. and the people feel so honored. Oh, we got Dr. Gray's Ferry with us. <laughs> Amen. Dr. Gray's Ferry. We got Dr. Transgender with us. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You see, when you, your church is infested with philosophy and theology, mm -hmm. you have no Bible foundation. No. Now, when you don't have a Bible foundation, you know who can move you off your foundation?
the White House. That's true. Politicians. That's right. Democrats. Yeah. Republicans. Oh, yeah. Where you don't have the word of God for your foundation. That's right. The moment they threaten your church because you're weak and have no Bible foundation, you are going to lean to whatever bill that's passed, that's made law, even if that law contradict the Bible, to keep your church open and you will be too much of a scared coward that's to right. fight the government. That's right. Amen. Amen. This is why churches who have government-ran programs mm. and get government subsidies, like senior citizens' home and homeless shelter. Ain't nothing wrong with having that, but you find most churches that have that, they bow to whatever the government says. That's true. That means, so even though the Bible is against Christmas, but yet, if the senior citizens in your program want a Christmas tree in the church yeah. because you're scared to lose those subsidies, you will violate the Bible and allow paganism in your church. That's right. That's right. Because of subsidies, you will have a transgender bathroom. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why? You don't have no Bible foundation. That's right. Amen. The truth of God has a Bible foundation. And are built upon the foundation. We have a sound, built solid, up. built, unmovable. That's right. Not, we won't move the size of a gnat's toenail on his baby toe. <laughs> Amen. Built. Nobody coming in to change nothing. No. And nobody that are in is going to offer anything. That's right. If that word was good enough for the apostles, then it shall be good enough for us right now. Right now. Amen. Amen. I don't care what minister don't like it. If you take a walk, fine. fine. The word was here for you got here. Right. The word will be here after you're dead and gone. Amen. Amen. This, book, this book, we ain't budging from it. That's right. That's right. That's right. There will never Go ahead, be no praise dancers. Go ahead. Bouncing your behinds around Go ahead. in first church. Go ahead. There will never be no twerking. That's right. No Christmas tree. That's right. No Halloween party. Amen. No Easter egg hunt. No church banquet. That's right. No church prom. No transgender bathroom. Go ahead. Never. Go ahead. In the truth of God. Never. That's there right. won't be no voting booth. Preach it. Brought in the church. Preach it. Go ahead. Go ahead. God says, My house Go ahead. shall be called house of prayer. a house of prayer. That's right. Not a house of Republicans. No, no. Not a house of Democrats. House of prayer. House of prayer. For all people. Your voting booths ain't welcome in here. No, no. That's wonderful. wonderful. Vote for you, no good political liars. Amen. There will never be an American flag yeah. that we will pledge our allegiance to. That's right. The very act of such is blasphemy. blasphemy. When you pledge your allegiance, that means to give all. That's right. We give our all to God. Amen. And nobody else. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because our umbilical cord mm. have not been cut. That's right. We are tied. Glory to God. Go ahead. We are tied yeah. to God's word. That's it. That's right. We are tied, tied to it. To that. You can't offer me nothing. No. I already 
you been offered to me in there? That's right. I turned it down. That's right. I've been offered Bentleys and mansions Go ahead. by wealthy people Go ahead. who watch this program. Go ahead. I've been offered churches by other religious leaders. If I would change my stand on the Bible, Hallelujah. heaven and earth Amen. shall pass away, Amen. but God's word oh. shall not pass. That's Go right. Take off. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not in this for fun. No, no. Wonderful. We're in this Wonderful. to die in it. That's right. I don't care nothing about your money. Oh, I no. care nothing about your position. That's right. Who's more richer than God? Hallelujah. Who's higher than God? Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Glory. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You preachers. Go ahead, brother. You churches. Go ahead. And you bishops. Yeah. You have failed the Lord. Yes. You failed, failed, him. failed, him. failed him. Now, if the preacher failed God, mm. you follow us, yeah. you are in a dangerous predicament. That's right. Because you got to have someone to lead you. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. It is written, how can you hear without a preacher? Without a preacher. How can he preach except to be sent? Yeah. You preachers have went to bed with the money. Mm. You have went to bed with the money. That's right. Fell in love with the money. In love with it. Yeah, you they love the money more than you love God. That's right. They are greedy dogs. Isaiah 56 and 10 says. His watchmen are blind. The leaders are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Holy. Dumb dogs. Listen, brothers and sisters. If you got a watchdog, you, you, the purpose of a watchdog is to bark. Yeah. Somebody gonna hop your fence. You don't want the dog to lick him. No, no. That's a dumb dog. Dumb dog. That's right. The preacher today, they are dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. Because they won't bark. They cannot bark. At the illness and the wickedness. They see the members starving right in front of them. Yeah. When the preachers and the congregations are dying spiritually. That's right. Some of you had the Holy Ghost 25 and 30 and 40 years. Yeah. But spiritually you feel yourself suffocating. That's right. You are dying. That's right. you, haven't, you haven't felt the presence of God. Yeah. You don't even remember. That's right. That's true. You come to church and you're not getting fed. That's right. If you got the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you got to have something to nurture that spirit. Oh, yeah. If the word don't nurture that spirit, mm -hmm. you will die. I don't care how many tongues you talk in. That's right. Spiritually, you will die. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Your bishop. Dumb dog. Have cut your umbilical cord. That's right. And what made it so easy for him? Mm -hmm. Because you got blind love for him. Yeah. You ain't supposed to love no man more than you love God. That's right. Get me? His watchmen are blind. The watchmen, the bishop, the would-be jack leg preachers, as the old timers used to call them. Amen. The watchmen are blind. Blind. They are all ignorant. The bishop? All ignorant. The elders? All ignorant. The board of directors? All ignorant. The, the so-called chief apostle? All ignorant. The pastors? All ignorant. The junior bishops? All ignorant. The little junior elders? All ignorant. The missionary board? All ignorant. The only thing they're not ignorant of is counting money. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's the only thing they ain't ignorant of. Amen. It's counting money. Counting the money. But when it comes to your soul, mm. you ignorant. don't want to trust these fellas. Yeah. You don't want to help them build churches. Yeah. You don't want to help them build what they call a movement. <laughs> and at the end, they move your mint right to hell. That's right. That's right. Imagine helping a preacher build churches throughout the years just to find out mm. he been teaching you wrong Amen. for the past 20, 30, and 40, 50 years oh, Lord. and refuse to accept correction. <laughs> 
That's right. Listen. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Can't preach. Sleeping. Wait a minute. What? Sleeping. Why do he sleep, Williams? Lying down. And? Loving to slumber. What kind of dog is it? Yeah, they are greedy dogs. Greedy. How do they feel about money? Which can never have enough. <laughs> Amen. That's why Bishop come to you. Mm -hmm. The Lord is dealing with me. He called my satrata. Harra, harra, harma, harma, harma. That's right. The Lord says there's $10,000 in the house. All the preachers say, who want to double, triple, 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 duple, triple, duple blessing from the Lord? <laughs> if you want a triple, duple, duple, high blessing from the Lord, Amen. get in this prayer line right here. Get, get hold your money in your hand. Hold your money. It's like, like he's an auctioner. That's true. He's a salesman. That's true. Don't misunderstand me. Yeah, it takes money for anything to function, but you shouldn't have to pimp the people to do it. Amen. Don't lie to the people to do it. That's right. Book says, Yea, they are greedy dogs. Greedy. Greedy. Why? Which can never have enough. Never. My concern mm. is the souls of people. That's right. That's why we're traveling extensively. My wife was laying me out today. She said, Listen, Mr. Man. <laughs> She called me Mr. Man. I know something's going to come at me. Amen. She said, Mr. Man, you have to get you some rest. People email me, Pastor Jenny, we enjoy your preaching, but we looked at your face. You look tired. It's an exhausting job telling people the truth. Oh, yeah. Why you don't see these other fellas look exhausted? Because they ain't. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're cruising around laughing at you after they take your money. Yeah. They laughing because they know you going to hell and they don't care. Amen. They're going to take all that money and send their children to the most expensive schools. Take the church money and buy their children their own homes. Take the church money and buy their children their individual cars. Yeah. Yes, they will. You people that watch this program, this is an act of mercy. Amen. From God Amen. to the world. Yeah. They give you a chance to get on God's side. You that are here. You are only alive by God's permission. That's it. It ain't nothing good about nobody in here. No. I don't care nothing about your title. No. When you die, the only title you're going to have is dead. <laughs> That's it. That's right. That's right. You can call yourself whatever you are now. Well, who's that? Well, uh, he dead. He's dead. <laughs> That's right. They gonna forget your title and they gonna forget your name. Yes, they will. But one thing they will remember: you dead. You dead. Give two cents about your title. That's right. I want the world to come back and put God where He belongs first. Amen. It's not second. Amen. Come on back to Scripture. First. That's right. And when God is first, you will take off your church that your pastor is the founder of the church. Yeah. Wait a minute. What you say, Pastor Jennings? Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church. My church. So right then, Jesus told you he's building it. That's right. So how is it your bishop is the founder? You only got one church. Yeah. There's only one church by the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus started Christ. on the day of Pentecost. And if you in the same church and got on your building founder, you have lied on God. That's right. You's a liar. Amen. Amen. Come on and challenge me on it, bishops. I make you lick that founder title up. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, Paul said he laid the foundation. Laying the foundation don't make him the founder. No. He laid the foundation. He worked on the foundation that was already laid. And he told you, other foundation can no man lay That's right. than that which he is laid, is which is Jesus Christ. That's right. Hallelujah. Paul was building on the same foundation Always. that Jesus laid. That's right. And we are laboring on the same foundation. Same. Right. And there's not another bishop or jack leg apostle or weak good for nothing prophet or no good pastor can Amen. come along now or later. Amen. And try to start something that's in clear violation of God everlasting word. That's right.
Are you listening? That's yes, right. Sir. What did he say? His watchmen are blind. Are your watchmen blind? You blind. that are watching around the world? Mm. Look at your blind twerking allowing leader. <laughs> Amen. Look at your blind leader that allowed these rappers come into church and perform for the young people. That's right. And you say, well, we got to resort to these things to get young people. We got thousands of young people. Yeah. In the truth of God, we, didn't, we, we never got a movie star. No. We didn't get no actor or actress. No. We didn't get no television spokesperson. That's right. We let the, whole, the Holy Ghost just done everything. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's right. We didn't get Tyler Perry to come in here. Amen. And lay his old cross-dressing hands on me. On you. And act like I'm in the spirit. <laughs> like somebody to run and shock through my body. That's right. Am I right? Amen. A man Amen. that's a real man don't wear woman clothes. No. Not a real man. Not a real that's man. That's not a Christian. That's of the devil. That's, that's right. Listen. His watchmen are blind. Watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all, ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They cannot bark. They can't bark. Sleeping. Sleeping. Lying down. Lying down. Loving to slumber. Loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy yeah, dogs. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which that can, can never, never have enough. Have enough. Go back to the book of Colossians. Everybody all right? Back in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Listen. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. View us. Philosophy. <laughs> philosophy. Need to be taken out of the church and out of your mind, That's out it. of your heart. That's it. You can't philosophize the scriptures. No. The scriptures are divinely inspired. Amen. Until the book says all scriptures, scriptures given. not some of them. All. All, all scriptures, scriptures is given. Is what? Is given. Hear me and follow me. Second Timothy chapter three and at verse sixteen. And then I want Peter. Mm -hmm. And see how it comes through the prophets by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh -huh. Second Timothy chapter three and verse sixteen. All Scripture, all Scripture. Wait a minute. All Scripture. That got from Genesis one one mm -hmm. to Revelation twenty two last verse. That's right. How much? All Scripture. Uh -huh. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God. All of them. I believe in all of them. All of it. Only them that's inspired by God. Right. That's why we put in the book of bylaws that the brothers that minister don't make reference yeah. to no religious book right. outside the scriptures. That's right. Why? The only thing that's good enough for us is the scriptures. That's it. Why, why, why no reference, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. The Bible, Jesus made reference to the prophets. To the prophets. And the apostles made reference to Jesus and the prophets. That's right. And we're not going outside of that reference. That's it. Amen. Ah! Amen. We're not going outside. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I tell folk, I'm not playing. I mean what I'm saying. That's right. I mean it. I make reference to the apostles, Jesus, yeah. and the prophets. That's right. That's I don't right. need nothing from no other religious book. No. If I make reference to history, I'm going to tell you the Bible didn't say that. That's right. That way you don't look for it. That's right. But when it comes to a religious book, mm -hmm. only this I trust. Yeah. Why, why, why only this, Pastor Jennings? Give chapter and verse. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy 3 and verse 16. Why? All scripture. Yeah, I want you to emphasize on all. All scripture. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All scripture. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All scripture. What is that? All scripture. I said before, I say it again, Amen. no minister in the truth of God yeah. better not make reference right. to no religious book yeah. touching salvation, yeah. touching the gospel, right. and touching the elevation of God's people's soul. That's right. Why? Why All. is that, Pastor Jennings? All scripture. How much scripture, church? Oh. How much scripture, church? Oh. How much scripture, church? Oh. Amen. You see, when you utilize philosophy, you think 
it's important to use Socrates. That's true. Zeus. That's true. That's true. Some type of Greek mythology. Yeah, that's true. You think it's important to refer to great men outside of scriptures. Amen. It don't make it important. No. I don't need to refer to a great man in history <laughs> to get you to understand the things of God and the importance of the things of God. That's right. Because there ain't nothing more important than what God brought. Amen. What the Holy Ghost say, Williams? All scripture is given. By what? By inspiration of God. That's why I don't trust nothing else. That's right. This is divinely inspired. That's it. Don't talk to me about nothing else. All I want is Bible. Amen. When I debate men, all I want is Bible. That's right. I don't want to hear your mouth. I don't want to hear your opinion. I don't want to hear your idea. I don't want to hear your educational background because I make you lick it up, eat it up, and slurp it up. <laughs> right. All I want is Bible. That's it. That's right. I make you lick it up, slurp it up, eat it up. Amen. All I want is Bible. That's it. Why? Why do I want Bible, William? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That means God Almighty inspired his servants right. the right and inspired right. his servants to speak. That's right. No one took it upon themselves to say anything. Amen. God moved on them and let them know what to say and when to say it and how to say it That's and right. where to say it at. That's right. That's right. You think these Johnny come lately is going to philosophy the scripture? The truth of God ain't built on nothing but scripture. Amen. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine. Now, if I got the scripture, it'll be profitable for us. Mm -hmm. And we have to go to the scripture to get our what? And it's profitable for doctrine. Wait a minute. We got to go to the scripture to get our doctrine. Doctrine. What else? For reproof. The scripture will reprove us. That's right. What else? For correction. The scriptures will correct us. I don't want your opinion for correction. Amen. I want scripture for correction. That's right. What else? For instruction. The scriptures will instruct us. In I don't righteousness. need Zeus. I don't need Socrates. I don't need nobody else. Nobody else. Instruction. I get my instructions from the scriptures. That's right. I don't care if you got a religious handbook from an organization. Amen. If what's in your hand and what's in that book is not in accordance with scripture, mm -hmm. you take your hand book and take the other hand and tear it up. Amen. I don't give two cents about your hand book. That's right. If it contradicts, I don't mind a hand book. If everything in there line with scripture, yeah. not with scripture, take your hand book and put it in the other hand and tear it up. Tear it up. That's I'll right. Blast your hand book to hell. That's right. That's right. I believe what's written in the scriptures. That's it. Anybody don't want a scripture church, you, you don't need to be here. No. Turn the program off. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. I'm going to lay in lay the in scriptures it. like a pig in slop. That's right. That's wonderful. When you try to get me out, I will become rebellious. <laughs> That's right. I will become stubborn. Amen. Huh? Amen. And then I'm going to Dig deep in the scripture. Yes, you will. One prophet said he make my feet like hinds feet. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. All scripture. Too many of us mm -hmm. have came out of churches mm -hmm. that start off in scriptures. And some crazy reason they went way out of left field and they never came back yet. That's true. We start out in scripture. We're going to stay in scripture. That's right. We ain't started out with it. So we can get us going, then leave it. No way. No God way. It's too good for us to leave them. That's right. I don't want nobody's opinion about nothing. <laughs> Touching the book. Amen. All I want is the book. That's it. God is the best Noah. Yeah. I don't trust nothing. Nothing. But what the word said. That's right. What did he say? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it what? And it's profitable for doctrine. It's profitable. Profitable. For doctrine. For reproof. Reproof. For correction. We use the scriptures to correct it. For instruction in righteousness. Yeah. That's right. We use the scripture to correct it. Correction. Amen. Mm -hmm. Scriptures will correct you. 
yes, they instruct will. you in what's right. That's right. Why? That the man of God may be perfect. That the man of God may be complete and thoroughly. Well supplied. Unto all good works. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, a lot of folk leave churches because they can't boss the preacher. Can't boss. They Absolutely. can't tell the preacher what they do no more, so they find another weakling. Amen. I'm glad that's not me. No, no. I don't care if you're so popular in your church, 8,000 people know you. Pastor <laughs> Jennings, I could bring them all with me, but, but what? Amen. You got to, ain't got to do nothing. I already got my instructions from the scriptures. Instruction in righteousness. That's right. That's right. My instruction was given to me before I met you. That's true. My instructions will remain with me after I'm dead. That's right. That's right. I'm not the type of man that can be bought off. No, no. Or impressed. No. I ain't impressed with nothing but the Lord. That's it. That's right. Are you listening? And in 2 Peter chapter 1. Follow me in the Bible, 2 Peter chapter 1. And at verse 19. Begin at verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Ah, that's what makes me so strong and sure. blasting sure. this sure good word. gospel. We are what? We also have a more sure word sure. of prophecy. I'm sure, brothers, I'm so sure. Sure. Lord, thank God, I'm so sure, I'm that's so wonderful. certain. Wonderful. That by God's permission, we can take this message in any part of the world. Amen. And turn over any country, any town, any village, any city, Amen. any congregation, any movement, any organization. Wonderful. We can turn it over. That's right. Sure work. Sure work. I didn't go to Bible college. I've never been in seminary school and don't care about it. Wonderful. All I want to know, thus save the Lord. That's it. I don't care how many books you study. No. How many languages can you speak, Pastor Jennings? Two. Two. What's that? Human and divine. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I can speak two, human and divine. Two languages. And then I can rap to you about earthly things, and I can back up and get into heavenly things with that Bible. That's right. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> this is where people have gotten so weak. And when people are spoiled, you have become so used to this weak fair seeming way of preaching and this weak watered down version of church Solomon said there is a way there is a way that seems, that seems, seems right, right unto man and the end thereof is a sad end yeah. but it's the way of death way of death amen we have a sure sure word sure word of prophecy Sure, hallelujah to That's God. That's wonderful. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Amen. When you refer me to other stuff, I can't rely on that. Rely on it. Why can't I rely on that? Because if a man wrote it, another man may come and got some new information. That's true. And then contradict the man that wrote it a hundred years ago. That's true. But you can't come with new revelation and contradict God. No. Because if any man, I want everyone to listen to me good. I don't care who your pastor is, don't give me his name because I really don't care. Amen. Any man that says God revealed to him anything and yet what he claimed revelation he has contradict this book right here. That's right. The devil why the hell gave it to him. That's right. Because all revelation got to be backed up by scripture. Uh, amen. Now, today's revelation mm -hmm. is yesterday's knowledge. Are mm. oh, you listening to the old man? Wonderful. Today's revelation 
Amen. is the knowledge and understanding that the apostles had yesterday. That's right. If God revealed it to you today, they already preached already. it. It's not a new revelation. God is just updating your understanding with knowledge of the past. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want to open it up and make it plain. Amen. Any revelation that I have gotten, any revelation I get, it have already been preached by the former apostles. That's right. God is just updating my understanding yeah. so I can stay in line with what they said. That's it. Because when he revealed to me something, I got to run to the Bible to back it up. That's right. What am I backing it up with? Yesterday's scripture. Yesterday's scripture. Well, how can you back up today's knowledge with yesterday's scripture? Because he said I'm the same yesterday and today and forevermore. Wonderful. That's it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He said I'm a God that changed not. That's right. For this cause or for this reason, the sons of God shall not be consumed. So any preacher... I don't care if he speaks so well, he can float in the air and float down 95, Route 85, 485, Route 1, go over the corn field <laughs> and make a little sign in the corn. <laughs> Amen. That's wonderful. Brother. You know what I'm going to do when I see you? see you? Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. You're floating around don't impress yeah, me because birds place. float, insects float, <laughs> yeah. fleas float. Amen. <laughs> I don't want that. That's right. You churches Wonderful. have failed the Lord. Yeah. Your bishop have failed the Lord. Oh, yeah. And as a result of it, his failure spills on the congregation. That's right. Give me Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter, nine. chapter 9. Begin at verse 16, if I'm correct. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 16. Listen, the leaders. For the leaders of this people. The leaders. Of this the people. Leaders, the leaders. The bishops, the pastors, the elders, the so-called overseers. What kind of damage do they do to the people? For the leaders of this people caused them to error. The leaders of the people caused them to error. And they that are led of them. They that are led by these preachers. Are destroyed. Destroyed. What condition did they put the young men in? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. No joy. But the young men is trying. No joy in their young men. But they are musicians. The Lord shall have no joy in their young Choir men. Choir directors. No joy in, in their young men. They little assistant pastors. The Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Junior preaching devils. No joy in their young men. What else? Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. How do they look in God's eyes? For everyone is an hypocrite. Everyone. Don't get mad at Pastor Jennings. That's right. I didn't call you a hypocrite. Give chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter. Wait, who? Isaiah. No, Pastor Jennings. Isaiah. The book of Geno. The book of Isaiah. The book of Geno. The book of Isaiah. Get mad with Brother Isaiah. That's right. He was here before I got here. That's right. I'm bringing you yesterday's knowledge. That's right. For the world today. Today, amen. And what did he say yesterday? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Listen, and because the God of Isaiah is the same God of Pastor Jennings, what he said yesterday, I have to bring it today. That's right. What he said? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Oh, they're going to have, I don't care if they're a young man up in the pulpit screaming and hollering with his hands over his ears and moonwalk like Michael Jackson and slide around like James Brown. Amen. Got your hands all manicured and your lips shot like armor all on a tire the and your man. eyebrows arching you can look like I dream of genie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah! That's right. But when the smoke clear, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. The Amen. Lord ain't gonna have no joy in you young fella. That's right. Why? Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. How do God look at the churches in this condition? For everyone is an hypocrite. No, everyone is a saint. Everyone is an hypocrite. Christian. Hypocrite. Child of God. Hypocrite. That's your word against God's. Hypocrite. Everyone is a hypocrite and... And an evildoer. And every mouth... And every mouth speaketh false. Let's go back to the book of Colossians. Everybody all right? Back in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Trinity mm -hmm. is a religion 
that came from philosophy. Philosophy. God is one. That's it. That's right. The Catholics say that Mary's baby, flesh and blood, is in heaven. Is in heaven. Philosophy. Philosophy. The Bible says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. Religion said Mary is the mother of God. God ain't never have a mother. No. The son of God or the flesh of God mm -hmm. or the body that God used to redeem us. Right. That had the mother. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Philosophy. Philosophy. I want to get you out of philosophy. Mm -hmm. You that bow your head and raise your hands and talk about you accept Christ. No, you accept philosophy. That's it. You that joined the church and the preacher said, I give you a church home and you walked up to the front and helped the hand of some preacher and repeat a sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart, wash me, cleanse me, white as snow. And the preacher said, you're saved, my friend. Mm -hmm. You are a sinner. Or you looked at some preacher on your flat screen television who <laughs> told you, you that are looking at me now, accept Christ as your personal savior. Just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, you sitting there on the side of your bed. Lord Jesus, <laughs> I'm a sinner. <laughs> Wash me white as snow. That's right. Come into my heart. And the preacher said, you did a look in my eyes. You did a look in my eyes. You are saved right now, my right friend. Now. Remember, send me $20. That's right. <laughs> That's what they do. You no more say it than the elephant can play a pipe organ. Amen. And dance with it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saved. No, no. You've been philosophized. That's right. I want to bring you back the Bible. Amen. You better finish up Peter. I need to finish up Peter. Mm -hmm. No, uh, oh. knowing this first and no this prophecy. First. That's it. And then we we'll go back to Colossians. I don't want to forget that. Back in Second Peter chapter one and verse nineteen. Knowing this first, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. Yes. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Yes. Until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. What is it? Knowing this first. I want everyone in here to know this first. That put this knowledge first. That's right. This knowledge is first and foremost than nope. anything else. Mm -hmm. That what? That no prophecy of the scripture. Nothing in the scriptures. Is of any private interpretation. That contradict what you fellas out there saying that a bunch of old white men, you from Europe, got together and write the scriptures, you fool. That's a fool. That devil in you wants you to discredit the scriptures because the scriptures is against your wickedness. That's right. There ain't no white man write this. No. no. The, I'm going to tell you what kind of men wrote this. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Listen, listen it ain't no... If it would have came by man's will, man's it ain't no man going to narrow you down to one wife. No, no. <laughs> no way. And it ain't no man going to put in a book, it's good not to touch not a woman. Not to touch. No man. Amen. Am I right, man? That's right. No. Ain't no man going to put that in there. No way. So you take your European lie and send it back to hell. <laughs> That's right. You liar. That's right. But the Bible was written by the white man. That's what it they ain't say. no white man will be stuck with one wife no if way. he can have another. No. I don't care if he white is frosty the snowman, black is the street, yellow is butter, or <laughs> brown is cinnamon. That's right. You fool and a good fool. That's right. Let's see how this book come about. For the prophecy came not in old time by the, the will of man. Prophecy came not in old time by no man's will. Mean no man emotion, mm. no man feelings, no man opinion. But holy men of God. What kind? Holy men of God. What kind? Holy men of God. That's what distinguished these men from everybody else. Holy men of God. No, Baptist men. Holy men. Lutheran men. Holy men. Scientologists. Holy men. Mormon men. Holy men. Muslim men. Holy men. Apostolic men. Holy men. Pentecostal men. Holy men. Non-denominational men. Holy men. Protestant men. Holy men. Episcopalian men. Holy men. Lutheran men. Holy men. Catholic men. Holy men. Holy men of God. Amen. European men. Holy men. Black men. Holy men. White men. Holy men. Spanish men. Holy men. Asian men. Holy men. What nationality were they, Pastor Jenny? Don't know, don't care. That's right. Holy don't men. Don't know, don't care. That's right. All I want to know, they were holy. Holy men of God. If they were holy Jews or holy Gentiles, as long as they were holy. That's it. The color of their skin don't make it less holy or more holy. That's right. What did they say? Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, listen at this. 
Holy is the characteristics of God. Yes, That's right. Ghost means spirit. spirit. Ghost or spirit mm -hmm. is the nature of God. That's right. The Bible said God is a spirit. spirit. So when the Bible said the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy, holy Ghost, Lord. that means the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy God. That's right. God is the Holy Spirit. Why? Because his character is holy, but his nature is eternal and divine. That's right. Get rid of your philosophy. Philosophy. Get rid of your theology. Yeah. Get rid of philosophy that men done pumped in these churches like a bad virus. That's right. All these slogans, you can't lose with the stuff I use. <laughs> Touch the neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, your time is now. Amen. Philosophy, preacher, tell you the Holy Ghost gonna fall, so stand up. Then when I count to three, break out speaking in tongues. One, two, three, and your bunch of infidels start gibbering something like a colony of turkeys. <laughs> That's right. You ain't got no more Holy Ghost than Donald Duck is a bishop. <laughs> bishop Donald Duck. <laughs> That's right. How many of you ever been in these fake revivals? Lord, my Lord. Where these low lives that pose as bishops got his partner in crime coming at his church, Amen. running a week's revival, raising money. Amen. And then tell you, the Holy Ghost is talking. The Holy Ghost is talking. Oh, the Holy Ghost is talking. When I count, I want everybody to stand on their feet. The Holy Ghost is moving. That's right. Oh, he sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you church suckers. Because of your ignorance of scripture, yeah. fall into a trap That's right. of some fraud That's right. who's in cahoots with your bishop. Mm. So he come and run a week's revival. And the only thing that's revived in you is your wallet. Amen. And he tell you when I count to three, yeah. you all going to speak in tongues. He tell everybody, stand on your feet. One, two, three. And, and all the folks like a bunch of turkeys looking at each other. That's what they do. That's what they do. You turkey. Amen. Amen. You know, in the 70s, they used to do that, call you that in the slang. You lame turkey. Job turkey. Preacher done made a turkey out of you. Amen. I want to pluck those lies off of you. Yeah. Put you in the oven of the scriptures. That's right. Basing you with the word <laughs> so you can come out well done. Huh? That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Put you in the oven of the word, basing you with scripture. Basing. This is my meat tenderizer. That's right. Because you are stubborn like the devil out of hell. Amen. 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 You need to get on God's side, don't we? Amen. Get rid of philosophy. Get rid of theology. Get rid of it. Get rid of all that stuff. Hermeneutics. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Scientology will lead you to hell. Yes, it will. Only thing we need is that which is divinely inspired of God. That's right. Men are trying and been trying before I was born to convince people. Europeans wrote the Bible to keep you in slavery. No, the European didn't write the Bible to keep you in slavery. The European lied on the Bible to keep you in slavery. That's right. That's it. A person can take truth and use it the wrong, wrong way to way. their advantage. That's right. That's what the European done. That's Tell right. it right. Tell it right. Amen. He Wonderful. took the information of God and lied with it. Wonderful. Just like you black folk is mm -hmm. taking the information of God and lying with it. That's yeah. why you got a Rolls Royce. Amen. That's why you got your mansion. Yeah. You tell the people God wants you to be rich. Mm -hmm. God don't want his people to be poor. That ain't mm -hmm. what Jesus said. He didn't preach that. Jesus said the poor you have with you always. 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 
You see, God knows that somebody going to be poor. That's right. That's right. I had people write me, why you never preach prosperity? Every telecast you see, we preach prosperity. Yeah. You just too dumb to know what prosperity is. That's right. Prosperity to us is not money. No. It's not a mansion and it's not a yacht. No, no. Prosperity to us is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding who the great God of heaven is. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Let Amen. me close out mm -hmm. and show the people what is our wealth. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. It's shining now, isn't it? Oh, yes. God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. That has shined in our hearts. Shine in our heart. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. What is it? But we have this treasure. We have, Williams is reading from the treasure chest right now. Amen. We have this treasure. Where is it located? In earthen vessels. Your earthly vessel is your body. That's right. I want to get this treasure in your body. That's right. That what? That the excellency of the power. May be of God. And not of us. We got something valuable to give you. Amen. You that are here, God wants you to get on his side. That's get right. off the streets of South Carolina, yes. men and women. Amen. It's time for you to get right with God. Right. We're not over the air all around the world entertaining you. Thousands of people is not watching us and millions are not watching us from in, for entertainment. Right. There are thousands of people writing us every day mm. and confessing that they have never understood the word of God like this since they've been born. Amen. Because the word is being broken down, made plain. Yeah. God wants you to get right, sinner. That's right. Sinner, God wants you to repent of your wickedness. Repent. What is repentance? Be sorry about your wickedness. Mm -hmm. Man, it's time to stop all this partying and drinking and gambling and living like a fool. You're going to die one day. That's right. Some of your friends is dead now. Yeah. You haven't discovered no magic water. You're getting older. Yeah. Stop acting like a fool. That's right. God wants you to repent. Repent. You ain't never been saved or been born again until you obeyed the scripture in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. He wants you to be baptized how? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. For the remission of sins. Remission of sins means for the removing of your sins. And ye you shall... need to get your sins washed away. That's right. Then he promised to fill your soul the with Holy the Holy Ghost. Ghost, get your sins washed away and come sit down under this great teaching That's of right. holiness so you can be ready to meet your Lord when death knock at your door. Amen. Anybody want to be right with God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Amen. If you want to get right, come on now. Stand on your feet if you want to get right. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, Go to the back, back there. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Glory to Amen. God. Glory to God. And again I say, glory to God. Hallelujah. There's not another gospel under the sun but the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Do you see this message? This is the message of the last day. Amen. We didn't make reference to nothing else but the prophets. That's right. Jesus and the apostles. That's right. It's good enough for us. Good enough. Like that, that's the only one that's getting us this results. Yeah. Everywhere in the world. People are starving. Oh, yeah. People are hungry. Amen. And they want to be right with God. Come on back tomorrow Amen. at 11 o'clock. Call your pastor. Tell him you ain't going at his church. That's right. Call him. You ain't going at his church. Call him. Come on back tomorrow so you can escape the flames of hell. May Amen. God bless you. May God keep you. May God preserve you is our prayer. Let us all stand. Brother Minister Jones will close us out in prayer. Lord God, for those that are going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father God, we want to thank you, Lord God, for all you've done for us. Father God, and we can see the things that's happening. Lord God, how your word is just moving on people all over the world. Father God, we thank you for them having a heart of repentance that they may go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, continue to bless our pastor. Glory to God, continue to let those divine words come through his lips. My God, go holy God, that it might save souls everywhere. Father God, we thank you for all that are here today. For all of our visitors and friends, we thank you for them, Lord Jesus. Lord God, as we go to our separate destination, guide us, Lord God. Give us journey mercy that we may be able to come back here safely and sound. We ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Come back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Thank you.